Brief History of Hex Is Hex a scam? What is Hex? Hex is a certificate of deposit on the blockchain. Hex allows you to lock up your money and gain interest using the Hex tokens. Certificates of deposit are already a well-established concept in traditional finance, but Hex is the first example of a certificate of deposit on the blockchain. Hex was founded in 2019 by Richard Hart. So why do people still think Hex is a scam? After some thorough research, we've established that Richard Hart has never partaken in any scam. What we did find was examples of all the good work Richard Hart has done, like raising $27 million for SENS.org, helping crypto enthusiasts navigate safely through numerous scams and countless hexagons enthusiastic about their hex gains. The main reason that some allude to hex as a scam is because they themselves are not fond of RH or their favorite YouTube influencers share similar sentiments. Before we hear what Richard Hart says about that, let's go through our secret tool. Welcome to My Crypto Views Exchange Coin Tracker. With My Crypto Views Exchange Tracker, you'll be able to track and analyze large crypto deposits and withdrawals from centralized exchanges and decentralized exchanges. Let's say you want to see the movement of Ethereum. Select it from the list by clicking on the View button. Now you can see all Ethereum inflows and outflows on exchanges. You can perform further analysis by filtering out the coin, date, exchange name, value, and even see transaction hash. If you're working on other things, you can subscribe to the personal alert button, link in the description. Now is the time to hear from the horse's mouth. Why does everyone think Hex is a scam? Sure, I mean, so I'll give you a short bull case and I'll give you a short bear case. Like I'll okay, give you cool. some pros and some cons. So pros are, okay, Let's take Hex. Everybody thinks Hex is a scam, right? Here we go. If you thought Hex was a scam, you could have sold it on the first time it doubled, the second time it doubled, the third time, fourth time, fifth time, sixth time, seventh time, eighth time, ninth time, tenth time, eleventh time, twelfth time, or thirteenth time it doubled in two years. Mm -hmm. Even if it was a scam, even if it was the worst thing in the world, you could have sold it on a double 13 times so far. Now, that sounds like a lot. Hex is up 8,000 X. Guess how much X Bitcoin is up? 6.5 million x from a penny mm -hmm. if you if you try <laughs> it's the highest performing asset class that's ever existed in the history of the world yeah. you are better off figuring this out than doing anything else you're doing in your entire life in regards to money because mm. you could make more money with this than anything else you've ever dreamt of in the history of of society like people talk about the tulip bubble the coin went higher than that mm -hmm. and here's something about the tulip bubble did it come back no how many times has Bitcoin crashed 85%? Three or four times? Multiple times. Keeps coming back and making new all-time highs. Mm. That doesn't sound like any bubble I've heard of. That sounds like a world-changing innovation that just oscillates and keeps landing higher than it previously was. So even if it was the biggest scam in the world, which it's not. So so where does the government's money come from? They print it out of thin air. Mm -hmm. Where does where does Bitcoin come from? They print it out of thin air. Where does Hex come from? Print it out of thin air. Where does your where does your yield come from in Apple stock? selling it to the next guy wait a second hold on they sell phones oh yeah let's track that money real quick you buy an iphone apple company gets the money show me how that money gets to the shareholders there's only two ways stock buybacks which requires you to sell your stock or dividends and what percentage of those gains people are showing in stocks is dividends this much it's all the next guy buying yep. so your yield in the stock market is from them printing money and inflation and that money's got to go somewhere your yield in the bank is the same way. Remember how I told you it was some tricks no one's gonna tell you about? Here's another trick. When you put your money in the bank, they don't lend it. Everybody thinks they lend it and that's where the interest comes from. Nope, that's not how it works. When you put your money in the bank, it sits there as a reserve and then they go get leveraged up and get 10 times that money from the government for free and they lend that money out. And then they make 10 times as much interest as they would have made lending your little bit of money out. So when you give your money to the bank, it's not an asset, it's a liability to them. They owe it to you. So, the, so where does your yield come from in a bank? Inflated money, the government gave them for free. It's all inflation. Mm. So, it, so cryptocurrency and hex in particular allows you to become the bank, you to become the Fed, you mint your own rewards just like a Bitcoin miner does, but you don't have to destroy the environment. Whatever you bought is a world changing innovation or whatever you didn't buy is a scam. What do you think? Is hex a scam or not? Please share in the comments below. Subscribe for more crypto educational animation and sign up at mycryptoview.com.